الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار عباد الله اوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله عز وجل فإن بالتقوى تكون الفلاح أو سيد الله أرجو أن أسألك أن تفير الله عز وجل because indeed success and victory is only accomplished through تقوى أو سيد الله the other day I heard a statement to one of my teachers he said قد جربوا أهل فلسطين كل التحليل أو كل الحلو Indeed, the people of Palestine, they have tried every solution except the solution of following the sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and pushing forward the people of knowledge and their view about how to solve their problem. So just as every other solution has failed, Isn't it time that they try that solution? And the statement of Allah is the gentleman he said, We either jail who ever will be the enemy of the Khawf, as there will be, or the one do who in a Rasuli will in a little enemy in whom, Laina who may be the son be told who in whom, whatever for the law he had a little more than the whom, let the back to the shape on the hill of the law. Allah Azzawajal, he says that when it comes to them, a matter of safety or fear and danger, they spread it about. And if they had only referred it to the messenger and to those who have authority amongst them, it would have been known and understood by those who extract the proper understanding of it from them. And if it wasn't for the bounty of Allah and His mercy, you all would have followed the shaitan, except very few of you. Consider this ayah of slave of Allah. How Allah is a jelly. He may follow in any other path, in any other way than the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by referring things back to him in his life, or his sunnah after his death. He may do anything other than that, and anything other than the way of the scholars from one of them, the people of authority and the leaders and the rulers. He may anything other than that, ittibar with shaitan. He made it and equated it to being a following of the shaitan. Straight up, I guess that's the way to get it. He made it a following of the way of the shaitan. And he made it from the things that prevent the accomplishing of the bounty of Allah in his mercy. O oh, slaves of Allah, we hear these ayat and we're reminded of these realities, but then we're astonished when we find what has befallen the Muslims from afflictions and trials. When we hear that which the enemies of Islam have brought upon the Muslims. 
and what has attached itself to the Muslims from hardships and difficulties. But the reality is, O Slave of Allah, the only way to solve our problems is by returning to that which the Salaf from the Prophet and the Sahaba and those after them were appalled. The only way to restore the glory of the Muslims is by doing that which brought the Muslims glory in the first place. The King of But how is our circumstance? Imam Mali, he said, Hadatha la Yahya ibn Sa'id. That it reached him. That Ibn Abbas, Allah ta'ala, who he said, Ma dhahar al-gulubu fi qawmin qab, illa ulqiya fi qulubi him al-ru'u. Wa la fashazina fi qawmin qab, illa kakra fi him al-mawt. Wa la anqasa qawmin al-mithyalu wal-mizan, illa kukia anhum al-risk. Wa la hakama bi ghayri al-haq, wa la hakama bi ghayri al-haq, illa fashafi him al-dam. ولا خدر قوم بالأهل إلا صلى الله عليه وسلم. The Prophet Ibn Abbas رضي الله تعالى عنه said that there's never been a group of people who were treacherous in battle or stole in battle except that Allah placed fear in their hearts. And Zina never became prominent and widespread amongst a group of people except death became abundant among them. And no group of people has ever reduced the balancing of the scale of weight and volume, except Allah prevented for them their provisions. And no group of people has ever judged by other than the truth, except that blood became spilled abundant amongst them. And no group of people has ever betrayed the trust and the treaty, except that Allah subjugates them to their enemy. And indeed, O slaves of Allah, to Allah is the complaint. To Allah is the one that we raise our voices and complain about that which has befallen the Muslims. So how much have the Muslims suffered at the hands of not just their enemies, but because of the actions of some of the criminals and wrongdoers who are in charge in certain places? How much have the Muslims lost because of their foolish actions and their desires to bring about, or their attempts to bring about their desires and their goals, whether some of them be in truth and justice, while others, so many, are in falsehood. Indeed, O slaves of Allah, we have to remember that victory was never given to the Muslims because of our numbers, nor because of our preparation. But instead, victory has always been given to the Muslims because it was given by Allah as a gift for their Imam. Allah so then he says, And indeed, Allah so he assisted you in better, and you are what he were low. So fear Allah in order that you can show appreciation. Likewise, Allah, He says, pay attention, O slave of Allah. What Allah the Messenger of Allah, in the Quran, 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 in numerous places, in the day of Hunayn, when you all were astonished by your numbers, but it didn't help you out in. And the earth, in spite of how big it is, was made small and restrained on you, and you all turned away from Hirin. Consider how when you turn away from Iman, the Muslims are conquered and overtaken, and their land is lost. But Allah he said, reminding us about the solution, and then Allah sitting down tranquility. Tranquility because of our preparation. Tranquility because of our weaponry, our skill, our numbers, 
No. Allah sent down tranquility upon his messenger and upon those that have iman. This is the formula of faith of Allah. The man is Allah who said, an army that you couldn't see. And he punished those who disbelieve. And like this is the compensation of those who disbelieve. And the slave of Allah. From our first battle that we fought in Islam and the better until today, our success is only through Allah. It's only through assisting Allah in his religion. Allah Azza wa made this all too clear when he said, Except 
temple and being like the Muslims in the beginning. Allah Azawajal says about those before us, and the results are always the same. وَجَعَلْنَا مِنْهُمْ أَئِمَّةً يَهْدُونَ بِأَمْرِنَا لَمَّا صَلُوا وَكَانُوا بِآيَاتِنَا يُوْكِنُونَ And we made from the leaders. How many of us desire that Islam be the uppermost? Not the country, not the land, not the wealth, not the nationality, but that Islam be the uppermost. For indeed, that is jihad, ya ibadullah. How many of us desire that Islam be the uppermost? Because if that is your desire, then it requires having Islam to begin with. Allah says, we made from the leaders, dominant, authority, they would guide with our command, with our legislation, with our religion. When did that result come? When they had patience and certainty in our signs. Allah said,
times when we repeat these ayat over and over again. And it's as if none of us have heard them in our action. Allah says he has promised. Why? And Allah does not break his promise. Allah has promised those that have iman from me. Those who have iman. All of the effort that you're putting, the money that you spend, the phone calls that you make, the protesting, the voting, the politics. Why the law who let you not have a All of that effort should be in your email. And when we talk about it in these issues, it's as if the people think that that's not good enough. Why the law who let you not have a woman called the Sali? They are stuck in the to the public. Allah has promised those that have iman and work righteous actions that He will give them the ilah, the authority, the dominance in the earth. The same way He gave it to them before. Wallah, Islam better al gharib wa sayyaroodu gharib. Islam started off strange, small, low in number. And then it will return strange. A lot of people think that this means that the end Islam will be small and few. No, yeah, it wanted to remind them. Islam started off small and strange, and then what happened? It left, or maybe over by a few. The Muslims were in control from the border of China to Europe. What was our dominance because of? Because of our vast military? No. Because of our large numbers? No. Because of our history of dominance? No. Because of our iman. The same way they were in charge is the same way we could be in charge when we have iman and work righteous action. They are set to defend them and say, I don't become a set of them living in the top of the world. Why are you making men in the home, being the home, living in the top of the world? And he will establish that religion that he is pleased with for them. What are you making men in the home, and by the host he has ended up? And he will replace them after fear to safety. What is that? Yah, we're doing any like you should be doing any shape. They worship me, they don't give me any parts. And now you understand why the Senate is so concerned with Tawheed. Well, why don't be misled by those people that tell you they're not concerned or they don't care. The people upon the Sunnah have no concern about Allah here, the reality and politics. Now, we just know the reality of so long the Jana and the Jana the reality of it is that Tohi is how you establish it. Yahudu and Elisha Kuna the Shayah. Well, men kept on by their daddy because all they call the classic. And whoever disbelieves after that, then it is these who are the wrongdoers. What's the steps? By guns, by planes, by ammunition. That's the first step back. Wahakim Salah. And establish the salah and give the zakat and obey the messenger. Jihad is not the goal. Jihad is not the goal. It's a means. And it was only legislated to establish the salah and to give the zakat and to make iman something that can be firm and accessible to the people. Alam tawila ladina kila lahum kufu aidiko wa kimu salata wa aju zaka. Haven't you seen those the law says they will say to them, hold back your hands and establish the salah and give the zaka. This is the goal. We took on the kenmat Allah in the area. Indeed, I'll say the law. There's a lot more we wanted to mention. Like in Bafa, you know what? The time is tight. 
But I encourage you to read those ayat and see what's stuff. But to him, what to him, يريدون ليشهدون الله بأفواههم والله كنوره ولو كان ولو كان الكافرون هو الذي أرسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله ولو كان المشركون يا أيها الذين آمنوا هل أدلكم على تجارة تنجيكم من عذاب أليم تؤمنون بالله ورسوله خدم الإيمان على الجهاد لأنه هو الأصل تؤمنون بالله ورسوله وتجاهدون في سبيل الله بأموالكم وأنفسكم ذلك خير لكم لعلكم إن تعلمون يغفر لكم ذنوبكم ويدخلكم جنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار ومساكن طيبة في جنات عدن ذلك الفوز العظيم وأخرى تحبونها نصر من الله وفتح قريب وبشر من عباد الله وَبَشِّرْ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Victory is only with Allah. And I'll leave you all with the hadith that Bukhari reported. وَالْخَبَابِ بِنِ الْأَرَاتِ Allah, this hadith is عظيم يا عباد الله. He said, The heavenly Ya Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم اشتكي. He went to the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم to complain about what we were suffering. وَهُمْ مُتَوَسَّدٌ بِبُرْدَةٍ فِي ذِلِّ الْكَعْبَةِ this hadith is Azim, We went to the Prophet to complain about what we were suffering I at the hands of Quraysh. And he was wrapped up in a cloak sitting in the shade of the Kaaba. It's as if it's giving the impression that he doesn't care. And all that's important to him is his own enjoyment and relaxation. And how much do we hear that nowadays? The people, they don't care. They don't care about Palestine. They don't care about Afghanistan. They don't care about Iraq. This is not the case. The same way some fool might think that about the prophet is the same way they think it about the inheritors of the prophet and the scholar. They said, we went to the prophet to complain about what we were suffering at the hands of Quraysh. And he was enwrapping the cloaks and in the shade of the Kaaba. And he said to him, I let the sun see him right now. Won't you? Get victory for us. Won't you make dua to Allah for us? And consider that he got Allah. Who is the one telling this story? Kabab ibn Arat. Kabab ibn Arat was a slave in Mecca, tortured until he lost all of the skin on his back. They would drag him over a fire until nothing put out that fire but the fat of his flesh. And they would lacerate him and sit him on the ground on the fire and somebody would stand on his chest. And his master or his mistress used to take a running iron rod and braid him with it on his head. He's one of the first six people in Islam. He's complaining to the messenger asking for help. What did the prophet do? Did that misplaced energy and vigor overtake him and lead him to take the Muslims into more suffering? Or did he advise them of what was correct? He said to him, Indeed, a person from those before you would ditch you to be dealt for him. And he'd be put in that ditch. And a saw would be placed on his head and he'd be cut in two halves. This is not a fairy tale. This is not make-believe. This is not legend. This is history. <laughs> this is the truth that happened. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, But that didn't stop him from his religion. And their flesh would be combed away from their bones and their nerves with iron combs. And that wouldn't stop them from their religion. <laughs> this affair is going to be victorious. <laughs> but you are just the people who are in a rush. Look at who he's saying <laughs> that to. And then think about our circumstances nowadays. 
and ask yourself, have I done what's necessary to be the recipient of the victory from Allah? Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama salli ta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid Allahumma a'iz al-Islam wa al-Muslimin Allahumma a'iz al-Islam wa al-Muslimin Allahumma a'iz al-Islam wa al-Muslimin wa dhamir a'da'aka a'da' al-Din wa adhal al-Shikta wa al-Mushrikin Allahumma rad al-Muslimin ila al-Islam wa rad al-Jamila ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقينا عذاب النار وصلى الله عليه وسلم وبارك على عبد وصل النبي محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم